Hello and welcome everyone. Here we are. We're back for some more modern action today. Today we're going to be playing this four color snow deck. Uh, we already played one four color snow deck earlier on in the format. This one is based off a Jim Davis list that he played for Cool Stuff Inc. a couple weeks ago. Or, excuse me, maybe it was last week, this week. I'm not sure when. But yeah, so that's what this deck's based off of. Um, I think it's pretty much card for card. There might be one or two changes. I don't remember. Either way, the basic idea here is we're going to be playing a bunch of snow permanents. So we're going to get our Ice Fin Codals. Um, we're playing Orin Viper, an older card. That basically has kind of a pseudo death touch, and if it deals damage, you'll play with a draw card. Planes of Teferis, a Bombal Tree Folk, a pretty good finisher. Um, Merit Lages Slumber. Uh, Merit Lages Slumber, whenever a snow permanent enters the battlefield, we scry one. It's uh, definitely much more for the scry than it is for anything else, but it does have the upside of being a potential win condition. So. We also are playing Boreal Druids and Onthan Ice. Onthan Ice is a another snow permanent for Merrily to Slumber, for Bombal Tree Folk, Dead of Winter, all that stuff. But also is a really good removal spell, exiling a permanent. So then we have Noble Hierarchs as Mana Dorks as well. We have some Scrying Sheets and then some Snow Basics. And then we're playing One Hall of Fountain. And one Temple Garden. And then four Misties, four Vistas, one Windswept Heath. Sideboard's also pretty straightforward. Much rest in pieces, some Stony Silences, one more Dead of Winter, one Negate, two Damping Spheres, some Geists, and Night of Autumn. Alright, we're going to go and hop in some matches. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy. This deck looks pretty sweet. And I'll be back in just a minute. Welcome back, everyone. Here we are on the draw. This hand's a little wonky, but I think it's okay. Yeah, I'll keep it. Mm, humans. Well, that means this Dead of Winter is very likely going to be good. Alright, so if we go turn one, I want to build turn two this. So we're going to go... I actually get a temple garden here. Now we'll pass. Hmm. Second vial. That's a nice looking foil. Alright, noble hierarch is the draw for turn here. Alright, so I am I need another green source, which kind of sucks, but I think it's fine. I'm going to also hold back the Arkham's Astrolab just so that we can, uh, not Astrolab, the Noble Hierarch, just to play it after a Dead of Winter. Alright, Reflector Mage bouncing our Viper. That's fine. Okay. Well, that is certainly annoying. Oh, hey, you know what we didn't do? Get a Black Source. Alright, play Astrolab, we'll draw a card. Play another druid and we'll pass. Oh, I guess I could turn this into snow mana and play this snowball. I don't really want to though, I don't think. The downside of them having the vials is the fact that we can't that they can get around our dead of winter. Potentially with vials. All right. Hmm. 
No blocks. Hmm. That's problematic. Kite Sail Fruguru will get to take our Dead of Winter here. But I think with a Bombable Tree Folk, that's actually not that big of a deal. I mean, they're kind of forced into taking that. Because if they don't take it... What's this do? Oh. Alright, we'll tap down the that, I guess. Honestly, no idea it had a second ability. Alright, we're gonna pass. Obviously something here like a uh, image on the Reflector Mage would be bad for us. Another Reflector Mage in general would be bad. Hmm. Feels like another Reflector Mage. Yeah, bouncing the Abomination. Which is fine. Um, I don't want to block here. I'm going to take it. Untap with another Astrolab. Alright, let's... I guess let's put this Astrolab out. Draw a card. Or in Viper. We'll pass. Hmm. Yeah, this is not, um, not turning out quite like we drew it up, but... I mean, they've had a good draw for against us. I guess potentially the, the where we made a mistake was we should we got too greedy and just wanted to wait on the dead of night. Bugler. I guess perhaps we should have just played the dead of night, not cared about getting a hue. Mm-hmm. Manus Rider, oh Jesus, alright, well, we're probably dead now, alright, let's go to blocks, just put one in front of you, one in front of you, be three, four, five, I think we're okay going to four, hmm. okay, interesting, Dead of Snow is not actually a... Or not Dead of Snow, Dead of Winter. Alright, so yeah, now we get a block one more and we're dead. Uh, I guess we'll... Alright. Game 2. Alright, so we got... Nine of Autumns, I guess, are okay. But definitely another Dead of Night. Um, I don't think Merit just slumbers very good. I think cutting like one Spreading Seas. Although I guess Spreading Seas can't take them off their mana. Oh, you know what? I'm done. Force negation's worse. It's only got like three targets. No. Four targets, duh. Math. Yeah, it's not likely to be able to hit anything other than Aether Vial, so I would definitely want to play first. Definitely gonna mulligan this hand. Alright, this hand's a keep. I'm not excited about it, but I'm going to keep it. 
And I think I'm going to put the island at the bottom. They went to five. So for anyone who may be wondering how we can keep this hand, Astrolab turns our black mana to whatever color mana we want. Yep. Alright, well that's a good draw. Yep, this is the part where they play the vial. No, they play Noble Hierarch, alright. So we control three permanents, which means okay. Never mind. I was gonna say if they don't actually play a land, I think we're just gonna dead of winter to clear the table. Yep, triggers. Mm-hmm. Yep, take it, whatever. Land. Alright. This feels a little bit weird with uh, Dead of Winter in hand. But I don't quite intend to dead of winter yet. <clears throat> Dahlia's fine. Yep, grows it. Yep, attacks. Uh, Exalt the triggers. Codal triggers, draws a card. And we'll trade there. Right? Is that right? Yeah. So my problem last time was I got too greedy. And we let it take too long before we finally just dead of wintered. And I don't want to make that same mistake now. Now, again, admittedly, we could be playing it wrong and we may be doing it too aggressively, but I think that would be better off than, than getting blown out here. Manus Rider. Yep. Manus Rider. I mean, we're gonna count. We can't counter it anyway. So the fact that it's uncounterable doesn't really make a difference. Hmm. Really? So you've been being fine all day. Why are you all of a sudden giving me a problem? See what you got, opponent. Phantasmal image. Of course it is. Alright, draw for turn. Well. I guess that counters the ability. Whatever. Oh, I could have done that better. I didn't. I shouldn't have tapped the force for that. We could have gotten one more damage across. Yeah, yeah. Clamps fairy. No, just going after me. All right. Yep. 
That Freebooter is going to get to take the Orn Viper. Oh no, it can't take creatures. It can only take. Yeah, alright, alright, that makes sense. Durr. Alright, well. There's that. All right. Currently winning the race, but Reflector Mage could change that. There's a lot of things that could just change that. So. Mm. All right. Well. Next game. One and one against humans. Oh, nice. All right. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, still no changes to the sideboard here, I don't think. I mean, rest in peace isn't terrible, but, like, we already have Knight of Autumn to potentially do that. The difference is Knight of Autumn is way more versatile in the fact that if there's not a vial on the table to destroy, like, that match for most of it, we can just gain life or make it bigger. You know. Hmm. I think we can do better. Hmm. All right, because of the scrying sheets, I think we can keep this. Hmm. I guess Orn Viper might be a little too difficult to cast. Comes a creature. Alright. This art bothers me. From far away like this, it just looks awful, but when you actually look at it, it's really nice. Uh huh. Yep. Alright, you gotta take the farrier on thin ice, which I'm assuming you're just gonna take on thin ice. Yep. Tag for one, sure. Alright, it's gonna have a forest. Alright. Alright, well, I gotta take the ferry this time. That's a little annoying, but. It is what it is. Mm hmm. Dead or Night would be a great draw here. Take three. It's very... Bounce this one. Oh, we have an Astrolab actually. Um, chant that. Get rid of the Kite Sail Freebooter. Alright, now I mean, they can kill our Teferi next turn. And they can snag our other Teferi, but. I still think this puts us in a better position than most. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's a fairy down. And now I assume they play their second one, or their kite self rebooter back to take its fairy again. Oh. 
Ooh, or not. Meddling mage naming Safari. Alright. That is cool with me. Oh, naming Night of Autumn. Sure. Alright, let's Astrolab. Alright. Alright, we're going to pass. Sure. I'm not going to play the Codal because if I play the Codal, they could, uh, we could draw something like Dead of Night and then they could take our Dead of Night. And that'd be bad for us. To where right now, they gotta take Teferi. And boohoo, we lose Teferi. Now we're gonna Ice Fang Kotal. Alright, well, that's pretty good. Dead of Night, or Dead of Winter, or whatever. Or Dread of Winter. Yep, Dead of Winter. Yeah, no attack there. That's not very surprising. Alright, let's go. Merrily just slumber. Put that on top. We'll draw it. I'm gonna go get. Let's get a forest. Scry. Bottom. Play druid. Scry. We'll put that on top. I mean, unfortunately, obviously, like reflector mage is pretty bad. Mantis Rider. Yep, grow the whole team. All right. Oh crap! Hold on a second. So that is three. It's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we have to take it and go to two in order to make the token. Oh crap, but are we dead then? You know, I think we're dead actually after that. I think we're dead after that actually. Hmm. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Right? One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so as long as they don't draw another Thalia's Pilgrim, Lieutenant, whatever it's called. Hmm. Or a reflector mage, then we're okay. Yeah, that was uh, that was one of the cards they had to draw. Yep, that does it. Alrighty. Well, that was a good fought match. We'll be back for round two in just a minute. Welcome back, everyone. Here we are. Tough loss round one there. Uh, but we're back on the play for round two. Uh, this is a mulligan. This hand's just unplayable. This hand's slightly... 
better, but still it's not keepable. Alright, the Sands of Keep. It's not great. It's not going to be doing much, but it's a keep. Yep. Draw me a card. Alright, well, Temple Card is not bad. Rut Row. Oh, that being their turn one play is pretty good for us. Actually, so is this. Because this means we don't take life, take damage this turn. I like that. Come on, play something like Soul Scar Mage. Okie dokie. Mountain Dart. Alright. And we're going to plus them. I suppose maybe it was just worth a down take them just to draw a card because if they go Swift Sphere, they could very likely kill him. I don't know, based on the contents of what we've seen so far, I'm not expecting to have a bunch of creatures. Hmm. I'm assuming this is where you... Oh. Okay. Sure. All right. Well, I mean, you successfully cleared my board, opponent. Do you have more bo removal spells? Awkward thing here is okay. So now, now that fourth mountain just represents straight up sacking it to be a to kill. It's for Lavadar to kill Kotal. All of them playing the fourth line also tells me for a fact they either have uh, okay arc light or they just or they don't have faithless. I'm not going to attack. It's not worth it to trade these two. I'm going to take it this time. Yep. Well, we couldn't have done anything about that anyway. Yeah, so that's, that's game. I don't know how we're coming back from that. And obviously this puts the Viper on blocking duty. Uh, it's not like we could have forced negation in that. Oh, that's great. They drew for uh, they drew looting, which we would rather have countered. But I mean, the way they've been playing, they've been playing like they didn't have looting. So, which I mean, they obviously didn't. They drew off the reveler. So. All right, right, because we got one, two, three, four. Mm. 
All right, draw a card. Uh, I guess we should always yes the trigger, huh? Right. Well, I guess I didn't need to fetch now. Oh, I guess it doesn't also really matter. So we're just going to pass like that. All right, so they, unfortunately you're going to be able to get these phoenixes back next turn for sure. I guess technically not for sure. If they have one spell in hand, they can get them. Yeah, so they, they get them back. 100%. Fuck. Oh my god. Yep. That's that's game. Unless our opponent just chooses not to get the Phoenixes back. If they choose not to get the Phoenix back, we're still probably dead. But not as dead as we or if they just throw this lava dart at our face. Wow, okay, no lava dart. I'm going to take it. Fuck. I thought these decks only play two of this stupid card. Jesus Christ, are you serious? Alright, well, looks like we're drawing to, dead not, another, to the last dead of night in our deck. Well, that's a... Uh... It's a card that's almost going to do something. Maybe. Uh, I guess... Technically that does something. But again, at this point, it's going to be so easy for them to get back their phoenixes. I'm having a hard time imagining we're not just dead. Oh, you know they just have nine in the air. We're just dead. Yeah, they're just playing cards to play cards at this point. Yeah. All right. So we won't rest in peace. Uh, we probably also want this. Ice might actually also be very good. Um, I think force negation is probably just not where we want to be in this matchup. Um, it's fair, I just don't think it's really good enough here. No. For mana cost. And I think Spreading Seas is also probably pretty weak. In fact, probably that over like, and then over like a Noble Hark. Because at least, well, I guess. Boreal Druid's not very good either. You know, does the snow permanent? We'll play first. That's a mulligan. Mm. Uh, this is tough. We don't have, we just have a basic swamp, right? Yeah. Alright, well. I guess we'll keep it. I'm gonna grab a temple garden here, I think. Yeah, they didn't mulligan, so we're probably just dead. This is not... Yeah. I mean, um... Like I said, I mean, we're, we're pretty done. Sure. Sure. Sure.
All right. Metamorphose. Yep. Yeah, I don't know. My problem is, like, I really don't know how we get out of this. The round of Black Source with Dread Knight's not good enough. We're so far behind on cards. Maybe we should just kept that six just because. Don't worry. Let's just... Let's go on the next match. All right, we'll be back for the next round in just a minute. All right, we're back after a uh, very bad match on the Mulligans again. All right, I'll keep the sand. I'm going to put back, I think, the Hall of Fountain. I'm going to get a Plains, snow-covered Plains. Nope, that's not a card I want to play. <laughs> Nice. Next time we can go Braille Druid and Arkham's Astrolab. Mm. I don't play Scrying Sheets. Alright. Yep. We do definitely have more uh, more lands than I particularly wanted, but hmm. are we playing the mirror match? Wait, what? Oh, coiling oracle. No, they're the oh, they're the Ethereate whatever deck. Uh, okay, I get your opponent. Yeah, let's go to Swamp. We're going to draw that. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Yep, Soul Herder. Going to flicker out that Coiling Oracle. Yep. Yeah. Alright, Aether Vial. Okay. So. And blue. It's a fairy. Plus. And we'll put it on the forest. Get that off the table. And pass. This also doesn't seem like a very good matchup for us, to be honest. Yep. I assume we're going to go Aether Vile Watcher this turn. What a shocker. What a shocker. Yeah, I think we're probably going to bounce the Aether Vial. Mm -hmm. I mean, they got a handful of cards. We're not in a good spot here, if we're being honest.
There's that. I'll save the file. Alright, well, another land's not exactly what I drew, how I drew it up, but well, whatever, it's fine. Alright, ghost quarter. Well, that kind of sucks. Reflector Mage, alright, that's an interesting addition. Yep. Sure. Because that's how you're going to make me do this. Seriously? I don't care about the fairy. That sucks. That really sucks. Yep. Yeah, this is this is pretty bad. Likely getting this uh viper bounced. Mm-hmm. What a surprise. Well, a little surprised there to see them not get the value off of the watcher. Hmm. Anyway, yeah, this this doesn't feel like a very good matchup to be honest. Yep. So, I guess I'll take a draw step, and if we hit Dead of Night, we'll keep playing. Otherwise, I think we're just going to concede. Uh. No, so hold it sure is a strong card. Alright, let's draw a card. Alright, well, we're just dead. Well, we're not dead, but they're just gonna can keep bouncing stuff. They just ain't gonna do nothing. Alright, so I think I want Geist Dead of Winter. Again, Force Negation doesn't seem great. Um, honestly, Spring Seeds doesn't seem very good either here. Maybe it's better than Fairy or something like that, though. That's a little cheaper. Yeah, I don't think they're going to be interacting with our our board much. So, Teferi being able to counter their stuff, I don't think it matters. Or not counter, but stop them from countering our stuff. Rather, I should say. Um. I mean, this hand's a little slow, but we'll keep it, I guess. That sucks. Alright, scrying sheets was nice. If you don't draw something to play next turn, it's going to let us draw a card, potentially. Okay. 
All right, we're drawing up way too many lands here, but hopefully these uh, the scrying sheet will help us to kind of find some more action, as opposed to the incredible lack of action. Wouldn't it be great if this was the number of snow permanents on the battlefield, not just you control? Oh, I'm an idiot. Yeah, that's how we, um, on the bright side, we would have just totally drawn a, uh, a card. Um, oh, shit, what do you got? Oh, Mr. Watcher. This is probably was expecting, like, a Phantasm image or some shit. And obviously, that wouldn't have been a big deal, but it would have been annoying as hell. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that missing that scrying sheet is going to be a big deal. Yep, and they get to draw a card now. Well, not draw a card, but get a card from the Watcher. Hmm. That don't really matter. Just doing this to help get in some extra damage. Although admittedly with that many cards in hand and everything, I don't think we're actually going to be doing very much here. Interesting. Is their hand that bad? Or do they just not care about taking a bunch of damage? I guess they could just not care about taking damage. No. Yeah. Actually, I guess maybe Teferi is the reason Dead of Winter or to keep, Dead of Winter is the reason to keep Teferi in because the Aether Vial. Hmm. 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 Fuck your mage. Nope. You it returning ephemerate. Yeah. Welcome to constantly looping the same stupid thing. And they can't reflect your mage just this turn. Quailing Oracle. Now they can reflect your mages. And they just pass through and they're dead. That's what's already on the battlefield. Yeah, alright. Let's see. Like I said, I think um, well, uh, the potential of instant speed dead and I think is better than that. Um, yes, let's run it back like this. Nine of Autumns, I guess, are okay, but I don't know. I just don't feel like that's really where we want to be at. Um, All right, I think this hand will be okay. We'll keep it. Um, obviously, it has some pretty glaring weaknesses here. Oh, well, their mana might be a concern for them too. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to get a snow forest here. So I want to go play these astrolabs. Ideally, we'll draw a land next turn. We can go spreading seas and astrolab. Although, actually, giving them colored mana might not be what we want to do. 
Never mind. They have colored mana. Alright. Something good, deck. That is not something good. Although, judging by 2 Aether Vial and 2 lands, they might be a little action light, which would be good for us. Coiling Oracle. Soul Herder on top. Yep. Okay. Draft turn. Viper. Draw a card. Vista's good. There is that. Alright, we'll be able to put Soul Herder into play, so taking them off of color is not really going to make a difference here. I guess it's just pass like this. Hmm. I mean, the deck's sweet. We just have not... I mean, the humans matchup, we came really close to winning. Monroe Phoenix matchup, we just weren't even in that match at all, at any point. Uh huh. Yep. Just getting tons of value off this watcher. Yeah. The other downside here is we can't actually on thin ice because of the stupid ghost quarter. What? What in the hell? All right, whatever, man. I guess. I. All right. Whatever. Oh, f holy shit. Alright. Alright, man. Mm hmm. Yep. Yeah. Mm hmm. What a shocker. Yep. Well, I mean, that is technically good. Yeah, let's get this off the table. I'm not going to attack. Um, making that trade is not worth it. And unfortunately, even with them being so low on mana, they can just or low on cards, they can just bounce this and just I mean, pretty much get themselves right back to where they need to be. Uh, yeah, this dropping them's been insane. And I mean, we're seeing we're seeing a while on thin ice is not not as good as like path to exile or something. Oh, what a surprise! Never would have seen that coming. All right, so we're gonna go to four cards in hand here. Jesus. All right. Well, I guess we're not completely dead. We we got a pretty decent four. All things considered, I mean, as long as I don't hit another soul herder, we should be okay. Alright. Yep. Mm, just get an island, I guess. Hit me for four. 
Yeah, I mean, pretty much now we just hope they run out of gas and. I mean, that's it. We just hope they run out of gas. Sure, that's kind of a shitty way of trying to win the game, but. Soul Herder, Ewit for Time Warp. Oh no, for Ephemerate to Infinitely Loop Time Warp. Yep. Yep. Is there any way we can stop this? No, right? Because the first. Yeah, because this resolves. It's going to get back together. Ephemerate. Right, yeah, that's game. All right. Anyway, we're gonna go and play a fourth round, even though we're 0-3. Um, deck's super sweet, but just has not been doing what we wanted to do. All right, we'll be back in just a minute. Welcome back for round four, guys. We're 0 and 3. Not not doing so hot. Deck is sweet, but just kind of not having a good night. We'll keep it, I guess. Um, a little awkward. We do have technically all of our colors with Noble Hierarch if it lives. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, maybe we'll be lucky we're playing against Tron. Cards in this hand will have text box to some extent. I guess even when we're playing against Tron, like the rest of this hand doesn't have text box. Doesn't have a text box, so that sucks. I don't know what they could be playing, but I might have to force a negation. Alright, so they're a merfolk. Seems good to me. Just draw a card. Something good? Well, that's not something bad. I mean, if they're actually playing Blue Green Merfolk, it's not bad at all. Yep, take two. That sucks. That really sucks. And it does that until this leaves a play. Yeah, that sucks. Well, next turn, if we have to, we can on thin ice it. Hmm. Never mind, we're going to have to ice that. Uh. Alright, so we, uh, we got to draw a swamp. Oh, that's good enough. That's not what I meant to cast. Yeah, we're still dead. We're playing the fight for make a difference. I think technically it'd make a difference. It's still go to six. Uh yep. Alright, something good. Dead a winner. Well, that's technically something okay, I guess. I and mean, we don't technically have an island, so. Yep. 
Yep. I mean, it feels like crap, but... Go to one. Yep, if we had a way to deal with this, we might be okay, but... Yeah, I'm just... Yeah, I mean, we could Arkham Astrolab, Dead of Winter, but then we'd be down to... Two lands, and they'd have a mute vault to kill us and un untap. Nice dead and knights. Probably cut forces. Actually, right, let's do it like that. They have too much ground stuff for guys to be good. It's fair, I don't think it's very good, but I think it's better than force negations because they only have like probably nine, ten targets. We're not gonna have a lot. Dead of Winter obviously is good when we can get to the mana to cast it. It's clearly just the part of living to get to that mana. So. Hmm. Yep. Yeah, I'm not not feeling good about this match either. Um, just because the way our night's been going has not been good. But you know. Unfortunately, I just don't have the luxury of getting to record a ton of videos at the moment, so if if I enjoyed, oh Jesus. Alright. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to put this Misty on the bottom, I think. There we go. So what you got, opponent? Vile on one? No, no play on one. Alright, well that's good for us. Do I want it to fairy? I was just going to... Sc scrying sheets? But I kind of like to fairy better here. I'm gonna really like him better. Wow, really. All right, that's one they got a lot. Um, they have way more counter spells than they should probably have in their deck right now against us. Or that for some reason their hand is just that soft to Teferi, which I mean, I don't, I don't get why it would be that soft to Teferi. Okay. Alright, now I am just going to attack for one. Obviously, here's one of those situations where we could um, play this onto an empty board, but it's only going to be a 3-3, three, three, and I'm not 
I'm not really in for just playing a 3 3 at this moment. I mean, it'd be different if it had more of a text box than just 3 3 trample. Which is still not the worst, but. Alright, let's see what we got. Nope. Cool. Literally not even a concern. And... I'll go forced. Yep, I mean... It's like obviously not what I wanted to do with it, but I mean, I don't, I don't know. To me, that that's a weird play to <laughs> my upkeep, tap my noble hierarch down with your merfolk trickster. I mean, I guess I get like, sure. Mm-hmm. Well, that sucks. Now we're just going to attack for six. And pass. I would definitely like to have freed up one of my uh, lands, but whatever. I mean, the whole... Uh, The whole stop my lands from being their lands is annoying. But at the end of the day, I don't know, it's just, it's an inconvenience. It's not like, mm -hmm. actually, you know what? I'm just going to make it a 4-3. Let's tag with a 4-4 four, four here. Or, well, 4-4 four, four with two exalted triggers to make it a 6-6. Six, six. Mm, sure. I mean, I get why they're playing Echoing Truth, that just doesn't... I don't know, I feel like... I feel like they have to have better sideboard cards in their deck. Or in their sideboard than Echoing Truth for us, and Force of Negation. Force of Negation, I can give them that that's main board, but, like... Echoing Truth just... I mean, I guess... It's okay. Sure. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Top card. That sucks. All right, so... We'll go here. We'll tap that down. I'll attack for four, five, six. See if they block. Yep. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna um, on thin ice. Get rid of this. And pass the turn with a lethal um, abominable tree folk coming next turn. Great. All right. Draft turn. Yep. This makes it easy and clean. We just swing for seven and kill him. Yep. All right. I think this is the same thing. I mean. Even with seeing that, I still think it's worth to take out our force or to put in our force of negations. Yeah, we also have like I guess we don't have that few. We got nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen. That's awful. That's an awful like low blue spell count. This is not that bad. I don't know. I really wish I had breeding pools. I'm going to keep it. A situation where uh, obviously not on turn one or two, but in turn three or four, we wouldn't mind them seize claiming or spreading seize warning of our lands. Yep, Aether Vial, I'm sure. Well, oh, alright, 1 1. Well, that's good. Yep. Yep. Attack for two. Yep. Oh, our opponent mulliganed quite a bit, didn't they? Oh, maybe not. Interesting. I'd obviously be pretty happy if they missed uh they got a lord. I think I'm gonna block one of them this turn. Alright, um This is awkward, but I'm gonna go with forest again.
All right, well. You got no cards left. My hand left over after that is still pretty good. Sure. I'll take five. Uh, let's see. Play you. Play you. All right, so here's the deal. We obviously don't want to play this island because that means we can't block this. And that means they don't have to attack with this. All right. And if they attack with both, we're going to two here. All right. All right. Let's see what you got. Yep. And we could have done all this without playing a uh, Marlin. All right. Well, got greedy, wanted to be able to double spell, and it cost us. So. Yep. All right. Well, very disappointing. O four. Uh, I don't know. The deck seems sweet, but I don't know. It just got outclassed by most things. Got really unlucky there at the end against Merfolk and against uh, humans. No. What can you do? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you next time.